Hey guys, it's Sound of Fudge YT and I'm back with a new video. Today we are visiting an aquarium so we, uh, we should always know to protect the animals on the ocean. Coral leaves are starting to die slowly so we should stop uh, eating more seafood and reduce the amount and we should reduce the amount of plastic. Okay, so let's go. Now so let's read over here. Our ocean faces many threats like the onslaught of ocean trash, overfishing and ocean acidification. Oh. Okay. Then so here's the points how you can help conserve water, fish wisely, refuse pollutants, respect the ocean habitat. Recycle, uh, reduce your plastic to single use plastics. Okay, so here are the three biggest threats and we, how we can solve them. Climate change, we can all reduce our carbon footprint on how we eat and travel. We cannot, uh, on plastic pollution, we can all help by reducing single use plastics such as straws. I kind of like straws, but not this much. Okay, sustainable and seafood. Stay clear of endangered species and sustainable and a healthy seafood choices instead. So here we are going in. Never mind the noise behind. So here are the real pictures over here. Oh my gosh. There's an uh, oil factory in Mumbai in just fabric, uh, inside or uh, just above the ocean and they put like oil waste right into the ocean. That's kind of ugly. Oh. Oh. I'm learning new things here. <laughs> in 2004, scientists counted 146 hypoxic zones areas such of low oxygen concentration that animal life suffocates and raise oh my gosh in the world orange but the lake the number jumped to 405 oh, in 2017 the gulf of mexico dead zone nearby the size of nature see oh my gosh oh hello penguin most ocean trash I have seen this. Whenever I walk to the beach, I see more broken places of glass, plastic straws, eaten cups, and lots and lots of glass and uh, rubber slippers. I just can't control it. Okay. So here we are. We are going to visit the fish. Okay. This one is known as the whale shark. The whale shark is a slow moving filter feeding carpet shark and the largest known extinct fish species. The largest confirmed individual had a length of 18.8 meters. The whale shark holds many records for size in the animal kingdom, aka Animalia, most notably being by far the largest living non Wow. Okay, so we are. That thing looks like a piranha. This reminds me of a Pokemon. The body of this fish was not designed for speed and is usually seen not often slowly chugging along in the water. Anglerfish's eyes are very small structures on their larger planes and are not very helpful in the dark environments. They rely on their senses to move around hunting. That's kind of tragic. <laughs> By the way, I don't think this is so cute they are just staring at me like uh, i did something to them okay now we are going to the next one mm -hmm. by the way i got robux oh well <laughs> they are all in slumber wait i am not talking about this this looks like a huge tuna <laughs> i don't think tuna is like that they are all in slumber in past <laughs> halibut or Japanese halibut is a temperate main marine species of large fruit from the native to northwestern Pacific Ocean. It is often res uh, referred to as the Japanese flatfish or Korean flatfish 
when mentioned in the context of the title. This one kind of looks cute. Hey! Oops, it's just sitting next to it. I hope this is not illegal. I am standing on it soon. Okay, now we are puff fish. Yeah! Oh, somebody is doing just like what I did. <laughs> the long spine porcupine fish, they look normal. Also known as a freckled porcupine fish, among other vernacular names, is a species of marine fish in the family Diodontidae. What's this? <laughs> okay, this one's so spiky. Hey, hello, but their eyes look so cute. Ah! Okay, now moving to the next one. I just did the illegal things once. Okay, is that a stick? No, 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 no. It's a fish. Oh, scared. Yeah, the pelican eel is a deep sea eel rarely seen by humans. Wow, though it's occasionally caught in the fishing nets, it's the only known member of the genus Eurifornix and the family Eurifornix. I can't read those. Sorry. <laughs> oh. So here we are. The next one. Hey, it's the same puffy boys. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Who's this? Pelagic porcupine fish is a member of the puffer fish family Diodontia. Again, these fish are capable of expanding their body size by taking in water and inflating it. And I learned about that. The spines of the porcupine fish only stick out when the fish is inflated. At at uh, all other times, the spines stay flat against the body. This is just like balloon size leaf. Not size, it's science. So here we are, more puppies. Oh, yes, lot of them. The spot fin porcupine fish, also known as the spotted porcupine fish, black spotted porcupine fish, or simply porcupine fish is in front. Member of the family Diodontidae. Oh, that's a lot of names, guys. Okay, so this one looks so real, though. Okay, here we are. How much teeth do this have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you know how much teeth this thing has, please tell me in the comments below. I can't just. Wow, the large tooth sawfish. I just thought it was my name. It's a species of sawfish family. Pristidae. It's found worldwide in tropical and subtropical coastal regions, but also enters fresh water. It has declined drastically and is also considered critically endangered. Oh, so poor guy. But at na Wow, Sharky! Yeah! The goblin shark is a rare species of deep sea shark. Wow! Sometimes called the living fossil, it is the only extant representative of the family Mitsukuri in the uh, lineage some 125 million years old. Oh my gosh, that's so rare. I don't think it still exists by now. This was created way long ago. Okay, but it looks so creepy. Like, is it attacking the sawfish like right now? Yes, of course. I hope they don't bite each other. Sa ya 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 ya. Who's that? <laughs> okay, so here we are on the last one, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, the basking shark is the second largest living shark. Oh, after the whale shark, the one we saw, the first one. And one of the three plankton eating shark species. Wait, what? Along with the whale shark and the megamorph shark. Adults typically reach 79.0 meter in length. It is usually grey greyish blue with mortal skin. That doesn't look mortal. It. Ah, it's just opening its mouth to scare me, I guess. The greatest danger to a planet is the belief someone else to save it. Yeah, that's very true actually. Okay, so we are going to go check out on some more fish which are on the both of the sides. Okay, let's go. Here we are some. Wow! Nice! So fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, clownfish. Yeah! 
Ocellaris clownfish are not endangered. However, in the last generation, 50 to 30 percent of the world's reefs have been lost, according to the ADW. Some of the destruction has been caused by fishermen catching clownfish to sell as pets. This is the one who appears in Nemo. You think you watched the movie, I guess? Yeah, many of you have watched it. So here are two containers of clownfishes over here. So here we are moving. Oh, is there a shark? Okay, so here we are the humpback whale. Wow. Whaling is hunting whales to harvest products such as meat and blubber. Oh my. Commercial whaling began in the 1800s. Uh, 1800s and nearly drove some whale species into extinction. Oh no. Some species have still not recovered be from being hunted and are currently listed as endangered. Although the commercial whaling is not the biggest threat facing whales today, it still exists. Oops. Yeah, these guys are so poor guys. Just look at that. I should definitely visit an aquarium. Listed as critically endangered species in 2002. Oh no! Pelagia nauti, nauti Luca is a jellyfish in the family Pel Pelagire and the only current recognized species in its genus. It is typically known as in English as the Mauve Stinger but other common names are Purple Stripe Jelly, Purple Stinger, Purple People Eater, wow, Purple Jellyfish, Luminous Jellyfish and Nightly Jellyfish. What? So many names for just one fish? No! So here we are at the octopus section that looks like a snake head. I guess this this old tank is an octopus I guess. I think that too. Since 2008 the reported annual global catch of octopuses has been around 3,50,000 metric tons. Oh my gosh! Which is likely as an underestimate as catches for most parts unreported, underreported particularly in Asia artisanal fisheries in Southeast Asia. Wow. Octopus fisheries are in decline as measured by big catches and many octopus fisheries are now overfished. Ooh. Okay, so let's see what's this fisheries. Ah! Shark! 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 Happy! I hope this glass doesn't break by me jumping in. Okay, let's go next. Game. Dozens of new animals coming through. Nice. Okay, so we are going up. Wow, this is so nice. So we are here at another fish. The common torpedo, also known as oscillate, oscillate torpedo or eyed electric ray, is a species of electric ray in the family Torpedidae. Torpedidae. The West Indian manatee or sea cow. I think I heard about this. Also known as North American manatee. It's the largest surviving member of the aquatic mammal order Sirenia. Just sounds like my name. It is further divided into two subspecies of the Florida manatee and the Antillean or Caribbean manatee based on genetic and morphological studies. I'm just so tired now. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to see this after that. After we do some more things. Common bottom of the Atlantic Bulls yeah! Dolphins, dolphins, yeah! The common bottlenose dolphin or Atlantic bottlenose dolphin is the most well known species of the family. Delphin D. Uh, I guess I am spelling it correct. The common bottlenose dolphin is the most familiar dolphin species due to the wide exposure. It, re it receives in captivity and in many parts and dolphin area in and in many sense of television programs. Nice. It just looks like a bottle, but it's so cute. Oh! We just saw it right now. The same things. 
Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's not the way. Oh, catch a lot. Whale is the largest rowdy toothed whales and the largest toothed predator. It's the only living member of the three genus Physeter and one of the three extinct species in the whale family, along with the pygmy sperm whale and dwarf sperm whale in the genus Kogia. Life span is 60 to 70 years. They don't need to change it. Nice. The conservation status is vulnerable. Nice. The encyclopedia of life is length is 52 feet for adults. Gestation period is 14 to 16 months. Scientific name is Fisida macrocephalus. Mass is male. It's 90,000 male bees, which is for adults. Females, it's 31,000 bees, in which is also female adults. That's the thing. Yeah, back over here. Okay, so it's now game time. Yeah, no one's there. Yo, two people are there. I guess I don't want to disturb them. So let's just go. I guess I just need to take some rest. So let's read the sign. You are Gundam Kevin. It's so nice. So nice of them to show these. Okay, so I guess we are going to go to the tunnels and then take some rest now. Okay, now we'll just sit for a few minutes over here. And I'm just going to take a little rest by now. So we'll be back guys. So here I am back guys and I just took some mm, some rest, drank some water and let's go. Oh somebody's waiting for here. Okay, he just tells me. Okay, so let's just see this picture. This isn't just a game, it's happening in the Plastic kills El Plastico Mata. Nice. I guess I understand it. They are saying just ban plastic. Oh no, this looks so dead guys. It just meant I don't know what to say and this is leaving out of here. Oh cute fishy! Yeah! <laughs> Hello! Hello cute fishy! Oh somebody's just following me. <laughs> oh hey cute fishies! So I guess uh, I'm not allowed to throw food from here. They're just sealed up here. So let's go. Let's be on the tank. Just as I said, there's a cute walkthrough up here. We are going to visit there. And what's this? Oh my gosh. There's this sad reality. Climate change is killing our beautiful reefs. Oh god. This looks so awful guys. This just makes me so sad. It's just like this. Like they put something up here. And these plastic trays and bottles. Then some plastic bags. This all just makes me angry. I don't want to see any oceans just like this. But it's the sad reality guys. I am trying to help though. So let's save ocean life as much as we can though. There's so much of here and this fish are struggling. Oh god this just melts my heart guys. Okay let's go through. Uh, we finished one tunnel and let's go to the next one. It kind of looks nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, fishies. Okay, so now let's go. Oh, I think those are friends. Oh. Okay, let's just not disturb them. Okay, let's just search here if something else is there. I guess it's over. Uh, I, I guess I'm just lost. Okay, so it's just talking about something. Never mind. Okay, so this is at the game room. The Marshall Islands strong room. Yes, this is the highlight, guys. We forgot to face this. I think there's just sea, sea levels around the Marshall Islands are rising. By 2030, they could be in between 1.2 and 6.3 inches. 
3 cm to 16 cm more higher than they are now resulting in more storm surges and coastal flooding by 2100 i would be dead <laughs> the dome could be submerged in water oh god and like this little dome on the top the bottom of the pit where this will do yeah sealed dome on top the bottom of the pit was never lined with concrete so now rising trees can be somewhere oh god this is just so open guys this is making me so angry i just don't want to see something like this they are just doing uh, so much plastic over here on the seas now perhaps they might be not we can do about this extreme situation as of current yeah the lockdown although we can definitely help it slow down in the future it could be repaired and properly sorted before a saving situation occur something you know can do yeah is reduce waste use less energy reduce vehicle pollution which is just by taking the bus or ride a bike yeah I don't know to ride a bike. The tomb is an island that holds tons of radioactive debris from dozens of US atom bombs test carried by a coat during a cold war. I guess I have to read about this. More than 40 nuclear weapons test took place on or near the enemy Bitok Atoll in the Pacific between 1946 and 1958. Nice. The seal pit contains more than 3.1 million cubic feet, 87,800 cubic meters of radioactive waste. Oh my god! Which workers buried there as part of efforts to clean hazardous debris left behind after the US military detonated nuclear bombs on the land. Why? Why should you put over these? No! <laughs> this is so making me angry. Oh, here's something else. Hobby, wow. Oh my gosh. Is that a skywalk? Ah, I think I can find out. No, I don't. They're just putting on glasses. Oh, hey, Fiki. Ah, so nice. I'm just going to take some so much fix over here and set them in my background. Oh my gosh, this is just so cute. Is that thing looks like a nave. No. Oh, so much stingrays beneath my feet. Oh, I hate the fillies. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Seiko. I'm just learning more here. Wow. I'm just taking a quick peek over here. Oh, fishies, come on here. Let's take a peek. I'm taking a pick with these. I'm taking this old thingy. I must cover up too. Okay. I'm just taking so long. Just take a pick. Okay. Say cheese, guys. Uh, yeah. Screenshot taken. Check out your folder to see it. I'm not doing it now. Oh, they're just dancing beneath my feet. Oh, yeah. Hey, check out at me. Oh, these look so cute. Is that a clownfish? No, 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 no. Wow, this is so nice. Oh. Okay, let's go. Hey, Stingray. So, let's go out. I'm just so scared. I'm standing in such a height and if I fall, I'm dead. Oh. I'm definitely doing something. Oh, I didn't do anything. You know, in total, the crater holds enough radioactive waste to fill 35 Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's a lot, guys. Okay, I am just hoping if there's some food over here. I'm just starving. We are back at the end over here. We saw this. So, thanks for following people for helping bring this project to you. Yeah, really nice just good case this okay i think there's more to check out i guess like we just left the marshall dump over there 
not a dump, it's an island, sorry guys, if you're American. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh! <laughs> okay, so many people are taking a pic. Oops, sorry to this one. Oh, no! I just don't want to see it again. Okay, okay. So, we just visited everything over here. So, yeah, I guess it's our time to leave, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, like and turn the notifications on. And subscribe to my channel if you like this video so much. I am taking a leave. Bye guys.